Uh, hi everyone, I'm Stan from Eagle Vision. I'm here with Mark Fay. Mark, welcome. Thank you. Uh, so Mark is the founder of my modular and it's a really interesting solution for uh, a whole bunch of challenges that have come up in the recent times as uh, cabling solutions or electrical solutions and prices and building in general have gone up. So Mark, how did you start my modular? What did all that come about? So I'm, a, I'm an electrician by trade okay. and I used to have an electrical contracting business right. <clears throat> and I saw an opportunity to do things better, to right. do things differently. Modular wiring is, is certainly uh, a very successful in the UK, yep. over in Europe. They're, they're probably the leader in the world around modular. But here in Australia, we had a little uptake. Right. And the reason was UK do things slightly differently, right? Okay. So where I saw an opportunity was to develop a solution that's specifically for the Australian New Zealand market. So mm -hmm. rewind 13 years, that's where we where we started. We started yep. with one product and it's grown and grown and grown. Fantastic. And so then, I'm aware that in Europe they do things differently because they're limited on space and constraints and all this kind of thing, whereas here we've never had to really deal with it. So how did it then progress from that 13 year ago start? Well, one of the big challenges we've got in Australia that probably not a lot of people know about, people in industry certainly do, is there is a skill shortage looming. Right. We've got it now, but yep. it's, it is starting to become more and more evident and we're mm -hmm. starting to see a result of that. At the moment, COVID's really shone a spotlight on yep. that Absolutely. because we don't have a overseas contingent here right. working on visas and whatnot. Yep. So there's two ways to deal with that. You've got to either some, in some way, shape or form, increase the labour in country, mm -hmm. or we have to transfer that smarts from people become to product efficient. Yeah. and become more efficient. So that's where we see a big opportunity. So we, where we develop our products and, and where we try to innovate is where we can add efficiency, where we can make things simpler, reduce the time on yeah. site, prefabricate. As a basic kind of an example, what is my modular all about? What are the products? So essentially we take a standard electrical installation okay. and what we do is transform film it into a modular prefabricated solution. So it gets to site, it's for choice of better words, plug and play. Okay. There's still an element that needs to be certified. So okay. it absolutely has to be done by a licensed electrician sure. or a adequately trained apprentice yep. with the, under that supervision. Mm. But the time on site is far less. So it allows right. companies to deliver on those tight build times. Yeah, absolutely. And what kind of scale of projects are we talking about? So we've done everything from you know, a, a smaller one room type scenario through right. to the biggest end of town for us would be, I think the Royal Adelaide Hospital is probably our biggest health project to date. Okay. Um, that's the biggest single hospital in the Southern Hemisphere. Right. And also the Brangaroo Towers, so three by 90,000 yep. square metre yep. uh, um, commercial building. So they're our two biggest, but yeah. we've done everywhere from small through to, to the very, very large. We've Fantastic. done, I think we've done 120 plus big commercial jobs, 22 mm -hmm. large hospitals. Yep. But we've also done a lot of bathroom pots, which is literally a light and fan and a PowerPoint in one pot. Sure. We've done 4,000 of those, yep. so yeah, yeah. yeah real I, variety. Look, from obviously from apartment developers through to large commercial buildings and healthcare um, projects, what I'm wondering about is in that Royal Adelaide Hospital, I imagine you're dealing with very high security infrastructure. Is that what the principal solution you're trying to solve? Now, uh, so critical care, so right. absolutely, yeah. it has to, quality is mm. at the forefront, right? Yep. So with a hospital, they need to have a solution and, and our biggest benefits for the hospital is that quality, right. making sure and, and structured wiring means that it's mm. perhaps better thought out, has been tested in factory as well as on mm. site. So there's a lot of bonuses, but also that disruption. Mm. So disruption is super important for hospitals yep. so they can add, move, change things because they're always changing without having to uh, sure. do it manually. So there's a massive time saving during the install and post install mm -hmm. once they're great. So you mentioned earlier that you work with a lot of apartment developments. Yep. Um, 311 Spencer Street uh, back in Melbourne. What was that all about? So that's a police station over there, brand new police station. Right. Massive building, I think it was 48 stories or something. Yep. 42 stories, I think it was actually. Yep. Yep. Super impressive building. And um, for us, that was a turnkey modular solution. So right. the challenges there was build time and access, mm -hmm. being able to get things in and out. So yep. us being able to prefabricate it, mm -hmm. package it in a, in a way that was dedicated to site. So they get it to site, they get the box, they put it in, yep. rather than having multiple boxes that mm. for different stages of the project was all at the point in time when they when they needed it. We say in our business, we focus on three things, yep. making sure you know what you need, mm. making sure you know when you need it and where it's got to go. 
Yep. Yeah, they are absolutely the three things. We deliver on those, we get success. Absolutely. And we're able to do that at 311 Spencer Street. So that's that was a unique one where mm-hmm. it's turnkey soft wiring. So the switchboards are all pre-enabled with, yep. uh, with panel mount outlets. Mm-hmm. Soft wiring for feeds all the way out to the pad, last power point, last light switch, everything is soft wiring. Mm-hmm. So it's all plug and play. And the big benefit to that was just, you can imagine the efficiency on site, right? Exactly. And, and so the timing, because traditional wiring would have been get on site, you plug things in, you hope that the wires are long enough. So what are the, some of the challenges like that? Because I'm just trying to see from the outside what yeah. problems could have come up. Yeah. So for us, it, what happens with traditional wiring in a lot of instances, whether it be a house or whether it be a big sophisticated commercial building, mm. is we tend to as electricians to bespoke the install. So right. the way that you would install as an electrician might be mm. slightly different to why I install it. And Absolutely. there are any small things usually, sure. but there's always everyone does it slightly differently. It's all based on their experience, right? Correct. Yeah. So with us, if we can get in early, what, what modular wiring also does is starts to force this pre-considered structured wiring. Mm-hmm. So we're solving the problems before they arise rather okay. than trying to solve them on the job. Yep. So where there's services, we know we've got to get around them. All these sorts of things, we make sure you've got what cable you need, where mm. you need it, all of these sort of things which which help deliver a far more efficient solution yep. outside of the modular itself mm. because it's so much more structured. But that's the, the big challenge on those jobs is like everything, mm. the unknown. Yeah, so the more course. that we can bring that unknown before they start actually yep. running any wires and we can reduce the time mm. it takes to do it, massive bonus to build times. Yep. Because they get real skinny at the end, right? Whether it's a house, whether it's a commercial building, whether it's a hospital, the build times are never a problem at the start. It's re- it gets real skinny towards the end, so that's yeah. when Sort of and everybody just wants to get things going and they want to get finished basically so yeah, yeah. how do you handle then other trades uh, do they interact at all uh, with when your installers are placing things in so the other point is with modular so if we've done those things where we've engaged with the guys on site we've we've worked out exactly how it's going to be wired. the drawings are all marked up everything is set we've got that structure right mm. what it allows it electricians to do that they can't do with a traditional wiring yeah. is to be able to get in and get out quick before the other trades come in. Right, okay. So um, an example that not many people know is the Adelaide Oval. We, that's all turnkey, the hotel there, the mm-hmm. motel. Yep. Um, we did that with one of our, our premium partners in Nielsen. And the guys wired the whole lot in like three weeks. Like they finished it in right. three weeks, which okay. is unheard of. What would be a traditional time? Uh, I don't know specifically for that project, but would have been yeah. far greater than that. Okay. Two or three times that I would imagine. Wow. So um, they managed to finish it really, really quickly. So a massive bonus, again, we talked about those timelines getting tight. Of course. Being able to achieve that, then it allows yeah. the other trades that need the time to be able to get in there and get That's it right. done. That's right, that are more bespoke. And this Correct. just sorts everything out. Yeah. Fantastic. Look, Mark, thank you so much for your time. Um, I guess this was all that we want to talk about in this episode. Afterwards, we'll have Chris from My Modular talking about how specifically, I guess, construction happens versus, uh, I guess, commercial and residential. Thanks so much for watching.